Okay. I'm ready. I am just so gosh darn excited for Pokemon Let's Go. I bet other people feel the exact same way. What the hell did you just say? Okay, I'm sorry! Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are the upcoming remakes, reimaginings, or whatever you want to call them, I don't care, of the 1998 classic Pokemon Yellow. They're bringing us all back to the Kanto region, and you actually only have access to the original 151 Pokemon. And you know what? I'm actually kind of fine with that. Not having all that bloated crap in there is, it's actually okay with me. And now that I've pissed off all the hardcore Pokemon fans out there, let me just continue to tell you why I'm actually excited for this game, and please don't kill me. So the first reason, it it's just simplified. Now some people are going to take that as a negative, and okay, I can understand that. For me, it's actually kind of a breath of fresh air. I never was a competitive Pokemon player, so not having to constantly worry about things like Z moves and held items and abilities is... It's kind of nice. It just puts people on a more equal playing field and makes things less complex, which again, I'm okay with since this isn't a mainline Pokemon game. I just think that Pokemon started to get really bloated around Gen 4. That's whenever the amount of Pokemon just started reaching these ungodly levels and too many systems and elements and mechanics and things were being added that just detracted from the experience. It's ultimately the reason why I stopped playing the game. I just quit caring. I just didn't care about all this crap they were adding that seemingly had no good effect on the series. And it just continued to escalate and I thought the problem just kept getting bigger as the generations went on and I just flat out continued to just quit caring about this. Now I know some people are thinking I'm just a dirty Gen 1 or that's not, no, not even close to that. I know the originals had problems. Why in the f did I think this menu was a good idea? I just don't think that any of these following games are really what I want from a Pokemon game. Like, did the Z moves really need to happen? Did that really do anything meaningful to shake up the core gameplay? No. And would you look at that, since you can only get the original 151 Pokemon, there's actually a reasonable amount of them to collect for a working adult like myself who isn't able to play Pokemon all day. That's a treat. Another reason for my excitement for this game is that it's just gonna be nice to have a relatively easy game to play through. I can just sit back, relax, and just have a good time with it. And yeah, that's just a personal preference thing. I've been playing a lot of harder games lately. I've been playing like a lot of arcade games and Monster Hunter, and now... I'm, I'm all for having challenging games, don't get me wrong. Some of my favorite games are hard as balls. I even played Mario 3D Land without the invincibility leaf. Mm-hmm. I think the main hangup for a lot of hardcore Pokemon players is that they're just so concerned with this specific game appealing to their demographic. Guys, I'm sorry, but this is a spinoff targeted towards newcomers of the franchise who were introduced with Pokemon Go. There's a ton of people who played Pokemon Go who never touched a Pokemon game. That's who this is for, and people may think that those disgusting casuals shouldn't be allowed to touch this franchise made of pure gold and diamonds, but guys, I assure you, it's it's fine. And you know what? I'm just going to get this out there. Yes. Yes, part of my excitement is pure nostalgia. Can you blame me? I mean, getting to see Kanto in HD like this is just going to be so nice. Look at that. That's and adorable. This game is just so bright and vibrant and happy and stuffed full of little details and you can actually see the Pokemon roaming about. It's... it's wonderful. I've never felt like a Pokemon game has just been so alive and full and... other... good adjectives for livelihood. But arguably the biggest reason that I am pumped for this game is the co-op. It's actually the thing that I really don't hear anybody talking about because they're so bent on talking about the problems that they think this game's gonna have. I've always thought that the only thing that could make great games even better is getting to share them or play them with friends and family. Now for me, I'm just excited that I get to play this with the woman that I love and that I live with, and that's gonna be fun. My wife has never played the originals and she's seen the anime and she's played some of the later games, but she's never played the first ones. And I'm incredibly happy to actually get to show that to her. Like, it's part of my childhood. It's actually a pretty big part. I was that chubby little bastard who wanted to go to Burger King and get those stupid collectible gold cards because I'm a consumerist piece of shit and I needed them. Thank you. My main point here is I'm just happy to see them doing something different rather than just doing the standard boring remake. Yes, they could have just done a standard remake of Pokemon Yellow and kept the same battling and capturing mechanics. Yes, they could have kept everything and not just some of the quality of life changes that people have come to expect. Yes, they could have made this game look like the hyper-realistic game people think Pokemon should be, but they didn't. And and I'm, I'm happy that this is actually trying to cater to a new demographic. It's, it's trying to go towards somebody new. We're still gonna get that new massive Gen 9 Pokemon experience people are, are expecting next year, but for now, you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just hang out in Kanto for a little while. It's, uh, it's all right here. It's not too bad.
Pokemon Let's Go looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty decent little game, at least in my opinion. Obviously, I am excited for it since I just talked about it a lot. Um, but yeah, I think the only thing at this point that would really like dampen my excitement is that they put in some like lame friendly rival or something. Oh, that sucks.